there guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today today i have got a video demonstration for you that will teach you how to make a form in wix so there's two primary ways to get a form into your website in wix depending on you know which one suits your needs uh, the first one would be to go to add elements and then you've got a menus a uh, contacts and form section there if you navigate there you've got some preset uh, forms to choose from which um you know, would cover most spaces in terms of what you'd need from a form. Um, the other way then, the secondary way, obviously if you've got an area set up for your form already, that would be the way to go for it. And then if you haven't got that, if you need to make an area or a new page, or would be to go through the add section uh, area here. So if you click add section, and then you've got within the options of sections that you can choose a form there if you single click that you've also got then a bunch of preset here um that will kind of cover most of your needs if they don't pick the preset which um is closest to what you need and then modify it to suit you okay so if i single click and left drag one of these forms into my website then it should appear there as a new section beneath um usually looks a little bit tidier to do so, you know, as opposed to um, bringing, one as, bringing one in as an element individually, you know, it's got its own section that kind of usually requires that unless you've got another need for it. So now we can uh, see that this form is made up of some text fields that you can add it if you need to, and then single click it there. Once you got the form itself highlighted, you'll notice that the preset has a text box at the top, which is just a, a text box that you can add it, give your form a different title, and then that obviously acts just like a standalone text box. You can move it out the way if you need to and delete it. And then when you click the form itself, then that's where you'd get at the actual form settings that you need. So if you click the button form settings, um, you can obviously create a submissions table straight from there. You can set up email notifications to tell you if someone submitted a form, create an automated response that the person who's submitting the form will receive and then get at some of the settings. So you've got obviously email notifications, um, which you can sort of set that, you know, like I said, every time someone submits it, you'd get an email to kind of tell you that that's happened. Um, you can limit the number of submissions if you need to, um, for any reason, autofill any fields, um, decide on the message that appears when the person submits a form. You can even type it in there. Um, you could link them to an external URL or link to a file or, you know, just show the message. Um, if there's payment on, if you need, you know, to add a payment feature to your form, you can kind of get at the settings of that. Obviously, there's a wizard that will take you through that process. Um, the conditions of the form, if you need to add rules to it, if statements, you know, for example, if fields need to be of a specific nature, if it needs to have 12 digits and, you know, to make sure that the phone number is accurate and things like that. Um, there's some automations there that you need to, and you can create an email marketing campaign from the form submissions as well. Like I was saying earlier, if you need more fields than what this provides you, you get at that there. So add a new field. There are some presets here that you can choose from. Just hit the little plus symbol next to the field that you'd like to add in. So you can see that there's no phone number field here at the moment. If I click the little plus symbol there, I've now got a phone number field. Um, if the one that you don't, uh, if if what you need doesn't appear here on the list, you can make a custom one here, okay? So a basic one and an advanced one, and um, whatever you need from a field, you'll be able to find it within those options there, okay? So like a date, uh, a URL, a recapture as well, if you want to um, prove that whoever's filling the form in isn't a robot for whatever reason. You've obviously got then access to the layout of it, the elements as well. Um, so the layout will basically, you know, allow you to kind of stylize how it looks a little bit um whether you want you know certain numbers of columns and pad into the side of it and then the design button will allow you to kind of customize how it looks in terms of color and things like that um so the input fields the submit button and the background can all be stylized separately so if you could choose the background you can give that a fill color a border and stylize the corners and drop a shadow and then you get the same number of options then for each of the individual parts of the form so you could spend a bit of, quite a bit of time modifying it to look how you want it to um if you want you can choose the form to kind of animate its way in it's quite rare that people would do that um to be honest but if you want to, to do that that's where you get at those options. And then here, then you've got the um, business tools if you need to upgrade as well, okay? 
Um, you can reposition that form and um, use these little spheres on the edges of the selection box to kind of resize it a little bit. And that concludes our video tutorial. If you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from Wix experts, then click the link in the description below. Even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site, the support team of Wix web developers is here to help you. If you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.